Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it is your boy Terrence Pounds back with the MMM board members. You might remember some of us, maybe you've never met any of us, but we're here today to take a look at uh, something that we as a collective have some of our assets parked in, which is concentrated liquidity pools. Now, this is not something you're not going to have a referral link. You're not sending us any crypto or capital. Uh, this is more of a how-to tutorial and also an educational piece, just in case you're like many of us that are on the call right now who have little to no knowledge of concentrated liquidity pools. Now, folks, um, I'm not a financial advisor. Nobody on the call is a financial advisor. And so I am asking that you do not take any of this as financial advice we're just simply documenting our journey. And now folks, I'm gonna tell you, this journey is so new, it's not even 30 days old yet, as far as me or anybody on this call personally putting their own capital in, but we understand it, we're getting it, and then we're gonna make these resources available to our community, where it's an each one teach one. Now folks, I'm not gonna be able to cover everything about liquidity pools today in this particular video, and I encourage you to get more information, buy a course. We can recommend a couple different courses that are already out there that we've been through, we vetted, that helped us tremendously. And then it is my personal future goal to have a relatively inexpensive course so that you can learn how to make money passively with concentrated liquidity pools. Now, folks, I'm going to leave with the fact that you don't have to be a trader. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a chart reader. You don't have to be great at uh, uh, accumulating uh, information to be able to put something together and to get it to work. So what I'm saying is that this is relatively easy. Now, on the scale of one to 10, how hard is it compared to trading? It's a scale of zero because you're not trading. And then another thing about concentrated liquidity pools, folks, is you get to keep your assets in your control. Now, when I say in your control, I mean, they're just the click of a button away. And when you get into liquidity pools, folks, what you're actually doing is you're going to be able to deposit liquidity or assets or cryptocurrency into a smart contract. Now, when you deposit this liquidity into the smart contract, you're rewarded for that. So I just want you to keep that general premise before we get into what concentrated liquidity pools are and how they work. You're essentially loaning crypto and getting interest or rewards on that crypto. Now, folks, if you haven't already, I'm going to ask that you please go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube video. I'm going to ask that you like it, you do share it, that you do comment, and you subscribe. Now, folks, my channel is Money, Ministry, and Motivation Passive Income. Over 7,600 subscribers, 1,100 videos. And folks, if you click right here on the six more links, this is how you get over here to get in contact with me. So my personal telegram, you want to DM me, here's the link. Here's the link to my TikTok channel. I have a 5,000 member telegram chat. You can join right here. My website, CryptoMadeEasyWithTheZ.net. My announcement page, Money, Ministry, and Motivation. This is where you go if you don't feel like chit and chatting, but you want all my announcements. Folks, I also have a Facebook group that has over 8,000 members. And I have live Zooms open to the community every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link stays the same. And then, folks, as you can see, there's tons of videos, over a half a million views. Come and learn and check out everything that I have going on. Now, folks, I also want to come over here and I am going to show you Orca. Now, what is Orca? Orca is a decentralized exchange. What do I mean by that? Well, you most people are familiar with your Coinbase's, your Binance's, uh, your Kraken's, your KuCoin's. These are centralized exchanges. What does that mean? That means that it's just like your money being at a bank because somebody else is having custody of it. And so if you've been with a bank, you know that a bank can uh, freeze your account, hold your account, 
any of that stuff. If you lose your debit card and your checks, you have to get in contact with them in order for them to be able to let you get access to your account. Now, with centralized banks and centralized exchanges, just like the likes of Coinbase and, 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 and Binance and, and KuCoin and Kraken, those exchanges, they need liquidity in order for you to be able to go in and do your swaps. Now, what do I mean by swap? Well, when you swap from Bitcoin over to Ethereum or Ethereum over to USDT, they got to have the crypto there so that when you perform the swap, you will be able to get your swap honored. Just think if you had to wait for somebody to come and bring you Ethereum when you wanted to sell your Bitcoin. Now, centralized exchanges do have liquidity pools as well. But in DeFi, decentralized finance, there's also decentralized exchanges. What are those? Well, it's like your MetaMask and your Trust Wallet and your Exodus Wallet, where you have to download the keys, those 12 seed passphrases, and you're the one who holds your crypto in your possession. You don't need no middleman. You don't have to ask anybody permission. You can't be froze out of your account because the crypto is in your decentralized wallet. Now, there's also decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, where you can go in and swap on a decentralized exchange back and forth from out of your crypto. Now, folks, one thing, everybody's done this on the call. Most people listening on the video have done this. And if you remember, there's always some types of fees associated with it. And then so when you make these swaps on any centralized exchange, or decentralized exchange, there's fees associated with that. Now, when you provide the liquidity, when you provide the assets, when you provide the crypto to these exchanges, then you get a chance to share in the rewards from other people swapping in and out of crypto. Very simple. If you get that, then you'll understand this. We get paid because other people are swapping in and out of crypto. Now, one of the decentralized exchanges that I feel very comfortable with after about seven to 10 days is Orca. Now, Orca runs on the Ethereum, excuse me, the Solano network. You know, there's different networks, the Tron network, TRC20, the Bitcoin network. You've got the Ethereum network, ERC20. You've got the Binance network, BEP20, BEP20. Well, the Solano chain also has its own network. Now, the beauty of Solano network is that it's lightning fast and the fees are so super cheap. And so Orca runs on the Solano blockchain. Now on Orca, folks, people can trade tokens cheaply, quickly, and confidentially. They have a fair price indicator, and they also have low slippage. Now, what is slippage? When you get ready to swap in and out of cryptocurrencies, there's fees by the exchange, and then there's a spread. The spread is the difference between the ask price and the sell price. And then so, folks, when you get into different places, you may have to adjust your slippage amount. And you've probably seen that if you've ever did exchanges on MetaMask or if you had to do them on Trust, sometime you have to adjust the slippage. Well, with this, they have very low slippage thanks to their Orca clam pools. Additionally, folks, you can provide liquidity to Orca's concentrated liquidity plan pools to earn trading fees and token emissions. What are you doing, folks? You're earning from the trading fees, and then they also give out tokens depending on what pool you get in. Now, Orca does have its own governance token that launched almost three years ago now, as you can see. And then, folks, you can look at the tokenomics for it there and the governance. Now, in order to connect to this Web3 decentralized application, decentralized exchange called Orca, you're going to need a Web3 wallet. Don't get confused on the terminology. You're going to need a MetaMask or a Trust wallet. 
But in this particular situation, I've used a wallet called Soulflare. Now, Soulflare is just a wallet, just like you've seen MetaMask. You've seen these type of things before, folks. But it is for the Solano blockchain. That's what I recommend using. That's what I learned in the course that I took. Now, you can even use this on your phone, folks. So I have it downloaded on my phone so I don't uh, have to look at it just on the computer. Now, with every smart contract, you're going to want to make sure that the smart contract has been audited. What does that mean? That means that there's somebody that went in just to make sure that there's as less vulnerabilities as possible. You know, folks, everything in the world can be vulnerable to hack. I got something from the credit union one day saying that they were hacked. This is the credit, you, the, the, I mean, the credit reporting agencies. I'm talking about Equifax, TransUnion, Experian. You know, I've got a thing saying from uh, uh, Kohl's, one of the department stores, like their databases have been hacked or leaked. So just realize that anything, anything in the world could potentially be hacked or leaked. Now, Orca hasn't had any problems or issues for over three years, and they've been double audited by Kodowski and also Neodyne. Now, everything that we do that can earn you extra money comes with some form of risk. So I want to talk about the risk before I get into how much can you actually make. All right. So Orca is a relatively new application on a fairly new blockchain. So three years, they're calling that relatively new. But folks in the DeFi space, when we take a look at these projects, that's an eternity, right? And DeFi is new overall. So they're gonna tell you the risk to using the Orca exchange. Now folks, this risk is the same across any decentralized exchange, any or any smart contract, right? And so the smart contract vulnerabilities, Solano mainnet is still in beta, and there's always possibility of an exploit in the smart contract. To mitigate this, Orca's concentrated liquidity product is double audited. So I already told you it's audited twice, and the audit is to make sure it's as safe and uh, uh, secure as possible. Nevertheless, Orca strongly encourages taking the time to understand the risk before trading. Now, folks, here's the only other way you can lose. The only other way you can lose. Divergence loss or impermeate loss. Now, what is that? Well, I think all of us on this call and most of us watching this video now or later understands that prices go up and prices go down. I don't care if you're talking about Bitcoin. I don't care if you're talking about Tesla. I don't care if you're talking about gold. I don't care if you're talking about oil, gas, the car market, the housing market. Things go up and down. Now, folks, you know, us as a collective, we bought Bitcoin when it was 28,000. That Bitcoin now is sitting at 53 or 54,000. One Bitcoin. But regardless if the price is 28,000 or if the price is 50,000, it's still one Bitcoin. And so when you deposit into a concentrated liquidity pool, you'll never lose the asset. If you go in with one Bitcoin, uh, then you're going to always have one Bitcoin regardless of the price. But in the meanwhile, you'll be able to gain yield. You'll be able to gain rewards. You'll be able to gain earnings, right? Now, when you look at divergence loss or impermanent loss, you have to see what it says. It says it's impermanent, meaning that it's not, it is not permanent. Now, folks, this is not a quick get rich scheme. This is setting some assets somewhere with the intentions of leaving it there for 30, I mean, 90 days, 180 days for a year just to let the asset stay there because ultimately you're overly bullish or optimistic about the future of cryptocurrency. And if you're not optimistic about the future of cryptocurrency at this point, I don't even know why you're listening to this video. But with liquidity pools, 
you get an opportunity to take advantage of that cryptocurrency, which we believe will rise over time. But even if it don't rise and it goes up and down or it stays sideways, you are still earning from the other people trading that cryptocurrency. So divergence loss or impermanent loss can 1000% be avoided long as you're willing to sit and weather the storm on the tokens and the assets that are in your wallet, but you'll still be earning. And then you can also avoid this by staying with blue chip cryptocurrencies. You can't chase every meme coin and this one that's supposed to be 50X and 70X. No, you deal with coins that are tried, true, and trusted. Now, folks, um, I'm not going to cover all of this stuff in here because you should read this on your own, but I do want to cover a couple other things on here. Now, it says, why would you provide liquidity to on Orca? Whether you provide liquidity is entirely up to you. Users typically provide liquidity to Orca's pools to earn trading fees. So, folks, you're providing the crypto to earn fees off of other people's trading. Now, if you decided to go into a liquidity position that had part Solano and part USDC, what they give you is a pool position NFT in return. This acts like a receipt for your deposited tokens and is needed to withdraw. So essentially, when you make the transaction, Remember, it's on the blockchain, so like humans can't even get to it. Like the, the people that programmed this program, this with algorithms, it's just running. So you make that deposit in Orca. They give you an NFT on the blockchain, and that just shows that you actually have a position in the liquidity pool. Now, these you can actually trade and sell and all of that stuff because they're really positions of liquidity if that's what you want to do. Now, each time a trade runs through the selective Solano or USD pool, a fee is paid by the traders and a part of which is shared amongst the liquidity providers, right? The makers. And you can check out the trading fees and details. And then these fees that you earn, folks, are literally accumulating every second. And so you can harvest them or take them or withdraw them instantly into your wallet whenever you want. Now, when you provide the liquidity in the full, you earn a maker's fee from each trade executed against your liquidity and all can be harvested at any time. Folks, you can have multiple positions, multiple different pools. Now, uh, let me show you this. Um, they do have reward tokens in certain pools. Let me see here. Now, folks, here, this is huge. Not only can you harvest your rewards at any time, you can withdraw your liquidity at any time. So just think about, you know, you decide to splash in, right? And then, oh, tomorrow you got an emergency. It's as simple as a click of a button and it's immediately in your wallet. So you can in, unstake at any given time and you can take your harvest's fees at any given time. Now, um, let me see here. I think that's all I really wanted to talk about right here on this. We'll get into some other stuff. And then, you know, I think that everybody should read this. And then first of all, let me go ahead and drop this in the uh, chat. And then it's also going to be in the... Um, is also be in the description of the YouTube video as well. And it's just docs at orca.so. So docs.orca.so. All right. So let's get into the money. All right. Let's get into the money. All right. So this is concentrated liquidity pools, right? Achieve higher capital efficiency by concentrated liquidity in a specific price range. Now, what you have to understand is that there's other liquidity pools and there's other yield farming. And this concentrated concept is a newer of the concepts. Now, concentrated is different than standard liquidity pools. And the biggest difference is the pay. Now, the reason that the pay is different is because in non-concentrated liquidity pools, 
you're going to earn 1% a month, 2% a month, 3% a month, a month, a month. And now folks, you could be a little bit higher, give or take, but that's not making most of us watching this jump off the couch and put any money in it. But if you get in concentrated liquidity pools, then you have the opportunity to be able to make bigger gains. Now, this is the part most of you guys have been waiting on. Like, how much can I make? Well, I'll tell you, folks, with very little maintenance, you can make between 10% a month up to 30% a month. Like, very little maintenance. You heard me, right? 10% a month up to 30% a month. Now, folks, you remember Novatech. Most of us were in Novatech. That was 12% a month. And we loved it. Like we love, 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 love Novatech. Like we could see our dreams and our futures being realized with that 12% a month from Novatech. But folks, what about if you can do 10 to 30% per month and you don't have to send your crypto to somebody you don't know? If you change your mind, you want your crypto back, it's the click of a button. And it's that simple. You don't have to know how to trade. You don't have to know how to read charts. All you have to know is that I want to loan my crypto out to the Orca Exchange, and I'm going to be able to make 10 to 30% per month. Now, there's some things that you got to understand and realize about liquidity pools. You can't just jump in liquidity pools off of this video. You know why? Because you don't know enough yet. And if you don't know enough, then you're going to wind up getting wrecked out there. You're going to wind up doing something incorrectly. So I took a course, folks. I took a course. I paid $650 for the course, and I was up and running in four hours. So I need you to understand the information that I gained to feel confident enough to get started with my own concentrated liquidity pool. It took me four hours to learn the information and be up and running in a liquidity pool. Now, it may take you just a little while longer. I've been around crypto a while. I get into Web3 wallets, swapping, all of that different stuff. So it wasn't really foreign to me from that aspect. But very quickly, within a day's time, folks, you're ready to be making passive money. Now, here's my portfolio right here. I got $29,000 in this thing. And now, folks, the reason that I put $29,000 in here is because I went back to my Novatech days when I had just got started and I put $30,000 in Novatech. And then my dream with Novatech was to be able to do 3% a week. So let me come over here real quick and pull up this compound interest calculator that you folks probably haven't seen since somebody was doing Novatech videos. Now, this was right here at the calculator site. And I'm going to go over here and just do something quick because, see, part of the thing is you, you, we have got so used to Oh, you know, 1% a day, 10% a day, 5% a day, 3% a day. But you realize in the real world that 3% a month or 4 and 5% a month is magnificent. In the real estate arena, people are only making 30 to 40% a year. All right. And then so, folks, let's just say, you know, Novatech, most of us started with $500, right? So let's go in a $500 balance, right? And then let's just say if you make that 3% a week, right? And we're going to put this on weekly. And then we had looked at this with Novatech and just said, if we can do this for three years, and then we're compounding this every week. Remember, we all seen this, right? And then we calculate this, right? So that $500, don't forget, folks, at just 3% a week, compounded, right, folks, gets you in three years, $50,000. And I think we all seen that with Novatech. That's why I'm bringing you back here, right? But let me show you something different, right? Novatech, you can only compound weekly. But in liquidity pools, the 
capital is coming down at any given point in time. And, and by all means, I'm not telling you to, to, to compound everything, but let me show you something, right? We take that $500 principal, right? And then the interest rate at uh at at three percent a week breaks down to what roughly 0.4 percent a day that's a little bit lower 0.42 let's call it that and then folks if we just did that same thing for three years right and then we are including the weekends and we are compounding and daily reinvesting folks right then we calculate that five hundred dollars and then hold on Oh, this is still 50,000. I must have did something wrong on the weekly. What did I do here? Uh, da, 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 da. Include all days, daily inventors rate 100%. Da, da, da. Mainly monthly. I might have did something on the other one. However, let me go back here. Let me go back to the four, Forex compound because I definitely did something wrong. Let's do this here real quick. And not that this matters, but you folks are seeing where I'm going with this very quickly. And then let's do weekly. And then we'll do three years and then we'll do the compounding weekly and then no additional contributions. And this is 50,000 just with that times to invest annual percentage rate. Now, let me go back over here on the daily compound and then let me see here and then we'll do that 500 again and then we'll do the interest rate half a percent seven that's three point four five. And then we'll do three years. Oh, it could have been just the, the difference in that little interest right there, 4.4.46. So let's do this every day of the week for three years, daily interest rate, and then calculate. Okay, so there you see, $76,000 because you get an opportunity to compound every day. Now, what do I mean compound every day? So like this $112 is off of this $29,000 and this ain't even been all day. Now, 1% a day on 29,000 is 300, right? And so I'm seeing like, if I can make 1% a day on 30,000, that's $300 per day. And like, I'm on track to do that today. Like I'm on track to do 1% a day. And so the reality is like, you can make, you know, Tenth of a percent, quarter of a percent, half of a percent, uh, one percent a day by getting into these different liquidity pools. Now, I can go ahead and harvest this right now, and this hundred and thirteen dollars would be, you know, immediately in my wallet. And so, like right now, my main wallet is seventy five dollars. I think you guys can see that. So I'm gonna harvest all of my yield real quick, and then you're going to see that this is immediately in my wallet. And just as quick as me harvesting, my yield is immediately in my wallet to do whatever I want and or need to do. Just as quickly, I could click withdraw and I can withdraw some or all of that $29,000 just as instantly and it would be right in my wallet. No waiting seven days, no none of that stuff at all. Uh, so you see that these are starting to slowly hit the wallet because it's $93 in there now. But that's most of those things going and hitting that wallet. So this pending yield will go directly into my wallet. Now, let me show you a couple other things, all right? Um, I'm not going to show you my positions just for the simple fact that I don't want you to feel like, oh, I can just go open up positions and be good. No, you need some education. And like I said, I'm putting something together that will be able to help you get this education. And then if you're with the MMM community, then I am giving you this information for free. And then um, and then if you're outside of the MMM community, we are developing a paid community so that you can come over and have access to this information for free. And then obviously we're going to have courses that are coming down the line as well too. And then so when you get into concentrated liquidity pools, the reason that you achieve this higher capital efficiency is because what you're doing is you're concentrating your liquidity in a specific range. 
Now, I don't want to get too deep into this because we'll be on the call for a little while, but um, I want to show you just a couple things about these particular pools. So it's on the Solano network. I like Solano as a token because it's a real, not a, 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 it's a real blue chip token. And then when you come down here, it shows you the different pools that you can select from, okay? Now, before you get going, you need to have some information on how much liquidity should be there, how much trading value should be there. Okay, it looks like, oh, some of my harvested, some fell. I'll go back and get that in just a second, though. And then um, there's all different types of pools to choose from. So part of the knowledge information is finding out how to choose what pool. Now, that's really part of the easier part of it as well, too. But then deciding what ranges to set. Now, when I just say like deciding what ranges to set, just say, for instance, I was going to go into this Jitso Soul slash Solano pool. Now, all pools are made up by two tokens. And basically, people are trading from this token into the next token. When they do those trades, that's how you're getting paid. Right. So now if you came in this pool right now and you just did the custom setup, you would expect based on previous data. And we know past results are not indicative of future results. Then, folks, you would make a 0.273 percent over 30 days. Um, maybe that's not enough for you to do anything. But if you got a lot of money, that might not seem very bad at all. But now when you come over here and you decide if this were the pool I was getting into, and no, I'm not in this pool, it gives you an opportunity to come in here and set the range. Now, the wider this range, like this is wide, then the less you get to make. But as you understand the range better and how the tokens operate, then you can come in here and change this range. So say I wanted to bring this range in just a little bit closer. And then say I wanted to bring this range in just a little bit closer. Now you see these numbers are changing down here, right? And then so if I wanted to bring this up, let's say, and bring this a little bit closer, you're going to see, right? Hold on, let me show you. So if I brought this closer and then brought this closer, and then you can either play with these numbers. So I'm at 0.294%. And now, like I said, this is not a pool I would be getting in, but I want you to understand the logic, right? And so now I'm at 2.49%, right? Now I'm gonna go a little bit closer and go a little bit closer. And now I'm at 5%. And you see how playing with these and putting your ranges where you want them at uh, basically pays you more and more and more. And then, so let me show you like uh, one of the hot pools out here. I'll give you this little tip right here. Everybody's trading Solano USDC right now. You see with just this range that popped up already, this is saying 15% a month. This is the suggested range. Now, whether you use that suggested range or not is up to you. But what if you decided that, okay, I think it's going to stay in between $104 and $115. Boom, that's 18%. You say, oh, I think it can stay in between 106 and 114. That's a tighter range. And as long as it's in this range, you are getting paid. And your estimate pay is around this. Now, folks, there's some more things to it. I can't teach you everything by uh, showing you today, but you should know extremely more than you knew about liquidity pools by listening to this right now. And so let's go ahead and open up for some real live questions because somebody else may have the questions later as well. Any questions? So, yeah, I've got one. If, yes. um, if we go outside the range, is it just a matter of going in and sliding that slider across to get back in the range? No. So once you go out of range, you have a couple different options. 
the first option is to wait until it comes back into range. Uh, you got to realize you're not losing any money. You're just not earning any money. But you do realize if you have to come out of range, then you're going to have a withdrawal fee, you know, whatever it is, the network withdrawal fee. Then you're going to have a swap fee to swap the cryptocurrencies around so that you can get them back in range. And so you have to have an entry and an exit strategy and you can't play off of emotion. Like the, the very first week, every time I went out of range, I jumped in, swapped something, changed something. And then like the person I bought the course from, Eric, he was gone seeing his uh, son's wedding. And so I didn't want to bother him because he was out of town. And then like after a couple of days, I'm seeing that I'm making money, but it's like, where's my money going? And then I'm starting to really pay more attention to the fees. But part of that is because I was being greedy. I was setting the ranges too tight. I'm trying to do 5% per day. <laughs> but the reality is if I can just sit back and chill with, you know, you know, three to 4% a week, I ain't really got to do anything. Now, when it does pop out a range, you'll have to go back in and withdraw from that position swap out any tokens if you need to swap out what you will and then then you can go ahead and open up another position or you can wait till it comes back in range the question is how long are you willing to wait for it to come back into range because um when it's not in range you're not earning and so then you got to start thinking like if i set a wide range Chances are you could be in, in, in a position for a month or a month and a half unless like the crypto just has some crazy run, right? Then you obviously have to adjust the ranges or a crazy drop. But if you got to go in and, you know, every day you're out of range for 12, 24, 48 hours because you decide to set some type of time frame before you actually adjust and going back in position, you're actually losing opportunities there too. So um, I have decided to do a strategy of, you know, some shorter, tighter ranges and some wider ranges and just be prepared that my tighter ranges will fall out of play. Now, what I did for uh, the MMM club, I just put it, I could have set it, forget it number, like 10 to 12% a month. And I, I did that. And I only had to change that one time so far. And that's what I want. I don't want to have to do something that I got to manage. So me having to go in one time during the week, swap out, flip out. This was, you know, and by the way, it only took five minutes, you know, but in the same token, I just, you know, I want it, set it, forget it. I don't want it out of range as much as possibly so that you can continue to earn yield. So good question. Any other questions? Did it make sense? Or is it like, that's way over my head? Like, did what I said make sense? Not to you, Craig and Tom, because you've seen a course, but Anita didn't make sense. Sarah didn't make sense. And Nicole, you can just drop it into the chat. You don't have to necessarily talk, but did it make sense? You're muted if you're talking, Sarah, Anita, or Nicole. Some of it makes sense to me. Um, I'm not really a big crypto person, so I'm still trying to get familiar with some of the technology, the uh, terminology and what it might be doing. And uh, I think it sounds like a lot of things to be doing, but you said it only takes like five minutes, but it sounded like a lot more to me. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the, it, it, it does sound a lot for, you know, if you don't move around wallets, but Anita, I can already tell you, you, I know you got a MetaMask wallet. And so you remember that process of downloading your MetaMask. You had to save those 12 seed passphrase words. Um, and then you had a chance to connect to that private platform that you and I are both in through MetaMask. It's the same process, but you would just be doing it through a different wallet and you would be going to a different browser and connecting to a different platform. Just in, and almost the process is just the same as where you deposited in that private project that we're in. Um, you just connect, you deposit, and then this pretty much does the rest. But 
yeah, you you've literally been through the process before just a different project, essentially. Thank you. You're welcome. And then now, Nicole, you said somewhat. Um, what what is kind of blurry for you? I want to try to be able to answer blurry things on this call. And I'm waiting for Nicole to comment in the chat. While she's commenting in the chat, I'm actually out, so it's just kind of loud. That's why I set myself on mute. But um, it, it actually makes perfect sense to me, obviously, because I've been doing this for some years now. <laughs> um, okay. And I, I like it. Everything makes sense. Okay. Well, cool. Cool. Perfect. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We didn't get a response from Nicole. Um, but no, that's fine. That's good. Um, Tom or Craig, any more questions? Um, since you guys are actually live and in it right now, um, any questions I can answer for you? Yep. So Nicole says she just needs to understand the risk a little better. Um, that's that's the crazy thing. There's two risk, period. The two risk are if somebody exploited the contract, like broke in hacker anything like that. That's the very first risk. But Orca decentralized exchange, double audited. So chances of that happening there are a lot slimmer than somebody that is single audited, of course. And they've been good for three years. The other way you can lose is called the divergence loss or impermeant loss. And, you know, by definition, impermeant means it's not permanent. And so how would that happen? You decide to get into a concentrated liquidity pool. And let's just say you deposited 50 Solano tokens. Now, Solano, let's say when you deposited those tokens, they were worth $100 each. Now, when you decide to come out of the liquidity pool, then say Solano's price went down to $95. Then when you withdraw your Solano, your Solano is not going to be worth as much as it was worth when you deposited it. Now, you don't have to withdraw your Solano then. And if you leave it in the pool, over time, that price goes up and down and up and down. And so if you just wait and you're not in a rush to like withdraw your Solano to, to sell it, the price would be back up. So that's why the loss of price is not permanent. And so literally, you can lose by hack if somebody broke in there, or you can lose by impermeant loss if you decide like, okay, well, I know Solano's not worth 100 bucks anymore. It's worth 95. I'm going to sell it. Okay, well, then you're going to lose that $5 per Solano because you chose not to wait until the price went back to where it was when you bought it. But this is not about the price action of cryptocurrency. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. However, if you put yourself in position, you're going to get that price appreciation over time. But with liquidity farming, you're actually getting yield every single moment as well, too. So you get the double dip. That's essentially what you're doing. You're getting to double dip the system. You get to earn yield and benefit from price appreciation because we're bullish on crypto anyway. Hopefully that answered your question a little bit better for you, Nicole. Oh, she did. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Appreciate it. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Well, folks, this was a little bit longer than I thought. I hope it was valuable information. Um, I'll be posting it on YouTube. I'll share it in the MMM group. You'll hear me talking way more about it. Um, like I said, folks, I'm tired of the scams. I'm tired of the rug pulls. I'm tired of losing money. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm tired of trading. You guys know better than anything. I'm tired of trading. Um, and, I, and I'll tell you this. I've tried a lot of things. I've done a lot of things. I'm all about multiple strings of income. But this checks off more boxes than anything that I've done for the simple fact that the custody is there. Click of a button, smart contract controlled, humans stay away. Um, and the fact that I ain't got to do much. 
check in on it every few days. And it even sends alerts when you go out of range. Not too shabby. But hey, thank everybody for listening. I'm going to wrap this recording up. The link to my Telegram will be in the description of the video. But don't forget at the beginning, I showed you how to get in contact me with me right there. May the Most High Yahuwah bless you and peace.